You're watching my favorite YouTube channel. Let's chit chat about Ironheart. I'm going to begin with Back of the Bus, who posted a video about six hours ago. Here they are speaking on when Ironheart should be released on Disney Plus. Or around the movie so that people are still interested. Nobody's yeah. going to, nobody cares. Agreed. Uh, well, one person cares. Who? Shalanga? No, he Isn't he a huge Ironheart fan? I don't think he cares about the show. Oh, well, I don't think not. he expects to get the Ironheart Child stories that he got from Brian Michael Bendis adapted accurately in the Ironheart shows coming out in, in, in Disney+. Plus. Once but correct me if I'm good. wrong, Chill. <laughs> I will. Uh, so let's dive deeper into this. What he, what Marcus was just saying about Brian Michael Bendis, that's one of their top writers at the time that she was there. I don't think that those stories are going to be adapted well. I've seen the castings and I've seen Nate Moore, Nathan, Nathaniel Moore, who works at that company who was telling us during the WandaVision rollout, I can't believe all the fans were theorizing about Mephisto. He's really not that important of a character. You know, I'm not really interested in him. He said that about Mephisto. Mephisto is going to be an Ironheart. That's what they think of this show. Which MCU fandom theories are either the most perplexing or annoying to you as a producer? Oh, Mephisto showing up in every single thing we've gotten. That's true. Wakanda. Those <laughs> are your four. Richard. To me, the most perplexing is Mephisto because as a fan, I don't find him interesting. <laughs> like, I don't know why people are so excited. <laughs> about Mephisto. Uh, mutants, I get. Everybody loves mutants. Fantastic Four. I, like, you could ask that question every time. I'm like, yeah, okay, fair enough. Everybody wants those in the MCU. Namor, hey, he's a great character. I don't know why he wouldn't be in the MCU. Mephisto, I'm always like, Mephisto? That, like, I don't need Mephisto. Uh, <laughs> Yo, and people, is- they love, they love the idea of that character. And I, and I, but I don't think that's anybody's favorite character. So I, I have found that confusing. I know that the, the storylines Ironheart is part of, I know the main villains that she's part of. The Hood isn't. Infamous Iron Man, The Hood was a part of that. And that came by Brian Michael Bendis. And it was like a weekly back to back with Riri and with Dr. Doom putting on the Iron Man suit. But the hood was not someone she had like wars with. The interest or the dedication to getting it right isn't isn't there. There's no accuracy. So yes, Marcus, like we said, no. I don't expect the Brian Michael Bendisness. Now, if I'm not getting Bendis, what am I getting? Who is Ironheart? Riri Williams. There's a video actually on my channel called Who is Ironheart? You should watch that if you really cared. Because that's back when I cared. That was back in 2016. Let's rewind back in time to when that was present. Because like I always tell you guys, you require foresight to make these decisions. At the time, I did not have such. I was a brand new comic book fan coming fresh off of that 2018 movie Black Panther. I go on to, and they were like, use the code word to get a full year of Marvel Unlimited and you can get a discount. And I'm like, you know, I'm a fan. I got my little Marvel Unlimited for the first month. And then I... I said, let me get the whole annual year. I read all the Riri Williams. I read a lot of comic books, including Riri Williams Ironheart. At the time, if you went to the comic book shop back in like 2018, you would see a comic book where she was there. She had an ongoing series, even though it would be canceled after what, 20 issues maybe? She had an ongoing series, went to the store. I didn't know much about Bendis and his status, about how if he says I'm going to make a book, there's automatically sales that are going to come with it. I didn't know that stuff. I just thought Marvel Comics is treating this character just like all the other people who are right beside her on the stands. I see Batman got his own solo comic book. I see Ironheart. I just said those words. I see that. I said, hey, what's the difference? Hey, this is proper. We got to support no matter what. I didn't know that Bendis was the only guy who was at that company who had this like uh, desire to kind of push black characters because of his family and he was just not a racist person all around. I didn't know that it was only him and it wasn't the whole company. The whole other company, the rest of the company thinks if we do a February Black History Month comic book, that's enough. We're doing sufficient representation and we're uplifting. So here I am thinking this character is worthwhile, worth celebrating and, and supporting and I got to be there. And then I saw an Iron Heart series come out. It only lasted 12 issues. The writer who they put on was somebody new, but that kind of stuff didn't really matter to me at the time. It was just, I got to just support the character. And all of a sudden, looking at Comicron.com and searching in the numbers, how much money did, did the comic book make this week? Ironheart, issue number one, 40,000 units sold. Issue number two, 17,000 units sold. The third issue had only 14,000 units sold. Issue number four, with only 12,211, it went to 12 issues. Let's just skip over to see that data. And on the final month of this comic book's ongoing solo series, 
where it was not Bendis anymore. It was let's see if this character can fly and stand on her own two feet. The comic book. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Until we're at the 199th highest selling comic of November 2019. The comic book finished off with 9,011 units sold. Who cares how much I like this character at this point? The fan base has voted. The industry took the notes and treated her accordingly since this moment. The comic book stores, by that point in time when that series was out, were over this whole character swap identity type thing. And I was making excuses and saying things like, unlike those other situations where there's got to be a happy accident for them to get the same powers as the other guy who they're copying, this is just Riri Williams being smart. She can use her intellect to make a suit. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just another, what's wrong with there being another smart person out in the world? Tony is not the only guy. And I was saying things like that. Yeah, she called herself Ironheart rather than calling herself Iron Man or taking the same name like some of the peers there. But I thought this was a, a good enough character. I was reading The Champions, who she was also a main cast member of, ensemble cast. But even that, with all of their fan bases... Kamala, Miles, Riri, Nova, Sam Alexander, who once had an ongoing series that went pretty deep, like 30 issues. I, I may be wrong with the number. But you would think all these guys, Braun or the Hulk, but they changed it to Braun. You'd think Viv Vision, all of these people from the Tom King book, all, everyone would like champions and would be, there would be enough customers to support it. And it wasn't the case. I learned somewhere in that period of what salesman and then i saw as the years passed how absent she has been from events after bendis left the same thing happened with miles 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 morales spider-man who of course i have to say miles because he's not spider-man but that's not the point of this video but to prove it miles morales stopped being so important in the comic book landscape same with riri williams you might get her pop up in jerry duggan's iron man's Maybe Dan Slott will write her in, in the Iron Man series just like on the computer saying hi on FaceTime. But she was not a big deal. And it's been long enough for me to get to the conclusion you know I've already made. Marvel has two black comic book characters. Black Panther, Storm. And shout out to Storm because they are really working hard on elevating this character. She feels like an A-lister the way that she's taking out Nimrod and doing all the uplifting that they're giving her, putting her on the Avengers. They're saying that she's going to get her own solo series. I prefer if it was a better writer, or rather, I prefer it was a higher profile writer just for the sake of sales. But maybe because they got such a low profile writer, Marawa Ayodeli, no disrespect to him and his talents. And I like what he wrote in his little, like, like, like uh, you know, the little write-ups that they do to advertise? Solicitations. I like what he said. I like it. Uh, but because he's so low, maybe because his page rate is so low, that this book doesn't really need to even have to sell that much. Maybe they could be killing it with the profits if this is like a 50,000 units sold a year. That's optimistic. But maybe it'll be somewhere like 30,000 and they go, yeah, we're, we're not paying anyone. Lucas Warnick isn't that high of a profile pay, I don't think. Maybe he's like mid-tier. But I think that, boom, we got Storm. Huge. Two black characters. Ironheart is not one of them. At the time, 2018, I'm getting into it. She's got a comic book. You know, I would even argue she's a top 20 Marvel comic book character with the effort they were putting that year. But that year in the vacuum requires foresight. And with foresight, with the step back, with realizing just how popular new characters get, Gwenpool, who's new? Every character was new at some point. The ones that we have now today in 2024 who are popular were the ones who started in the 60s or in the 70s and 80s. The closer we get to the present, the very less likely that a comic book character will take off. Deadpool in the 90s may be the biggest of that era. And um, who else do we got? If we go to the aughts, a couple of mutants here and there who kind of got popular, you know. I realize that. Riri Williams Ironheart is a D-lister. Is a secondary character who at the time when the guy who was in charge before cb sobolski maybe his name was axel alonzo he was down with the whole swapping thing that was his initiative it's not the guy who's in charge now and like writers we only care about the characters we grew up with we fantasize marvel comics to do the characters we care about in comes a new guy and he's like what's going on here i wasn't using i'm no no interest in using those characters i got my own ideas of diversity shout out to sink who jerry duggan was writing and now it's not part of the X-Men anymore. It's going to be 
Yo Ayo. It's going to be Io, Temper, who's going to be the black representative on the X-Men. And then when this writer is done with that, there's going to be another black representative on X-Men. Start and stop pushes. Because it's not like they don't do black characters. They just start with one guy. Oh, it's not working. Oh, sorry, well, it's not working. It's not working. No one will ever get hot. You don't have that problem with Storm. She's always there. You don't have a problem with Black Panther. He's usually a member of the Avengers or is usually around. Marvel has two black comic book characters. I'm going to support those two. I'll buy their, them two books. But with the new Riri Williams comic book coming out, no. I saw how they delayed it. There were four issues created by Stephanie Williams was the writer. There were four issues advertised. And then when the TV show was canceled, they said, no, let's not put out this book. I'm sure those books still exist and one day will be released. But they're going to probably wait for the TV show to come out. For a TV show to be delayed so much, how could I care about Ironheart? How could I, knowing how un unconsequential the events of this comic book TV show is. I know that if you can delay it for two years, then it's got nothing to do to tie into the rest of the overarching story. Nothing to do with multiverses. She's not going to crack the code to the timeline, find her way into the TVA because she created her own portal because she's so smart. There's none of that. Nothing will cross with anything. It's just going to be these stories about the hood, Parker Robbins. It's going to be a story about Mephisto and her inner demons. I looked at the casting. I know that there's a casting for Xavier King, or not King. They call him something else, Williams, something, Washington. They call him something else. They got her friend, Natalie, is still alive, and they got someone there. I guess she's going to die. Spoilers. She's supposed to die. It's Uncle Ben. It's the King T'Chaka, so someone's got to die for her to get started. But there's really nothing uh, interesting to me, and I don't care about what they do with Wakanda. Because Marvel's MCU has killed the Black Panther and they're going to do like other people and try to elevate other people. I don't care about Eyes of Wakanda either. Eyes of Wakanda is not going to focus on T'Challa. And I see the overarching message to de-emphasize the Black Panther, T'Challa, the Black Panther, and make you unassociate the words Black Panther with this character. They'll do Black Panthers in the past, like T'Chaka and Azuri, like the video game. They'll do Black Panthers and Eyes of Wakanda. Oh, this is what happened the first time somebody tried to take Vibranium. And it's an animated show about Black Panther to somebody, some next guy. They'll probably do something with the child in the future because they, they're they animating it. They'll do anything to make you think of Black Panther, the word Black Panther, but not the character who is the Black Panther. That's their point. That's the, that's the racist shit that's going on there. No, I'm not interested in Eyes of Wakanda. No, I can't be interested in, in Ironheart. My heart will not allow me to emotionally invest in a character you think is this worthy of this. The video I'm talking about is from Back of the Bus, and it's right on top of the screen. Please watch them. And then check us out. I'm be joining Marcus and Darius tonight. And YouTube, move the thumbs up button. It's on the right. Please click it. Thank you.